Greetings fellow gaming fans, this is Small Archangel here. Welcome back to my full playthrough of the Solus Project. Here we are, standing next to a refrigeration unit, holding a cold crystal, and still 24 and a half degrees. So we're sort of trying. I've had a bit of a sleep here, thankfully, so uh, 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 yeah, 25 and a half. Hopefully it won't go up any more than that, but who knows? It certainly will when we move. It's pretty flipping hot down here. Um, there's some food here, so we, I think before we go anywhere else at all, we're just going to walk on the table, which is really uncouth. We're just going to pick up as many of these as we can, which is not many. Our calories are okay. Our water is okay, miraculously, but probably won't be for ever so long. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do that because I have 19 out of 19. We are entirely full up here. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're just going to... Actually, our water is okay because we're usually... Uh, we're... Uh, We've got a bottle of champagne on us. Oh my word, what is this? It's, I assume... Oh, it's two fish. My goodness me. Very strange looking fish. Okay, and then we've got some water here. Yeah, we're going to drink. need to drink lots around here at the moment. We need to do a bit of exploring just to see. There's a keyhole here, so we're going to need a key for that. Let's just see if there's anything else around here we can pick up. More water bottles, which... And uh, we've got another food station here. Oh, key. Now that is what we want. That is what I'm talking about. Okay. Back we go. And let's use that. Well, yeah, key, keyhole. Do it. Alright, now what did that do? That is opening the gate down there. So I'm guessing that is the way we need to go. Uh, 80 degrees. Oh my gosh, we're going to die of heat stroke. I'm not sure if there's anything back this way that we really need to see or do. I'm guessing not, because it's silly hot around here. There is... No, we're going back. There is... Uh, yeah, it's too hot to be running like this, really. But there's a door here. But that is one of those doors that you need to open. I don't know, I'm on there. I don't know how we actually are supposed to open those, but this is not the place to be hanging around, so we're going to carry on. Temperature elevated. Yeah, you're not kidding. Well, let's just hope we've got some refrigeration units in here or something. How are we? What's our temperature? Oh, it's still massively immense and over the top. Now, that's a light crystal. Yeah, that's not actually going to help me much. So, here... We have to fill this with water usually, but it doesn't look like we actually can at the moment. Mechanism requires water. We can't actually do it. Imminent heat stroke. Okay, great. Well, I'm guessing we're going to have to go back to those refrigeration crystals, because otherwise we're just going to die, which would be rubbish and pointless. And I need to put some water in there, but I can't remember if you're supposed to have the bottle in your hand in order to do that. We might have to have them so here we go let's just stand right on top of this thing and get our temperature back down again uh but yeah we might actually have to have our champagne bottle literally in our hands to be able to pour the water in there that's an infinite sort of source of water so that should fill it up without any difficulty at all let's just drink some right now in fact okay uh, temperature's gone down to 37.6, which is probably the best we could hope for at the moment. I just grabbed an hour's sleep while I was in there as well. Now, we need to fill this, and I'm guessing that we are going to need to have our bottle in our hand. Uh, does that work? No, because I just dropped it on the floor. Maybe that one doesn't work. Maybe we have to have a different bottle in our hand. Maybe we we can't interact with that with this maybe we have to have one of the water bottles which is a pain in the proverbial obviously because we're gonna have to drop something in order to be able to but do you know what i've been carrying this shield for approximately a hundred years and it's not actually doing me any good but then the last time i thought i didn't need something turned out i did so that was that was badly done uh, basically, I just wish I had the full carrying capacity. That would just solve my problem. Inventory full. Yes, we know. Okay, so what can we get a shot of? Uh, I don't want to get... Okay, let's... let's... Yeah, of course it is. So, we'll get that. I'll just stand on the top of here. We need to drop a couple of degrees in temperature. 
Okay, we're back down to 37.6 degrees. Inventory full. Yep, of course it is. That's okay. The micromanagement aspect of this episode is beginning to be a little bit annoying. I just want to get out of here to a place where we're not going to have... Ah, there. Now we can interact with this. Okay, here we go. To a place where hopefully we're going to have... Now, what's that open? I don't know. I can't... Oh! It's going down. But it's not telling me anything very much. Oh! The alien! Okay, I'm guessing he's telling us we have to go back that way. Sorry, dear, but I want to read this board. What does that say? Tracking of time. Anno 5872 Operation in Galaxy Quadrant D in failure. Subjects of race D9 apprehended Nomad with Phoenix 8882 and escaped with Ball. Phoenix 8882 unpowered Nomad stranded, rescued, unrealistic option. And we've got another one on the other side. The sarcophagi. Very Egyptian looking. 18 of 26. Anno 11483 member of race D9 invert inverted returns. Ball Phoenix 88. Two eight 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 two 8882 powered resumes normal function. During captivity, further ancient machinery analyzing race D9 genome left planet to, to re resume the path. Body temperature elevated. He's off now. I'm not entirely sure I'm ready to meet him face to face, so that's fine. We're probably going to have heat stroke again. He's very fast, this guy. He's always running off out here. So where... Have we opened the doors at the side here now? No, we have not opened either of those doors. So where the heck do we go now? 38.2. Do you know what? I'm going to have to sit on the fridge again because otherwise I'm going to die. Apologies for this, but I will edit this bit out. And once our temperature has gone to a same level, we'll see where, what, what door we've actually managed to open. Okay, I'm really not sure where it is we're supposed to be going, but... Oh wait, what's that? Nice! I don't want to hang around there to find out what it was, but that was definitely an artifact. And look, there is something here too. And I don't know what that did. Did that open any of those? The ones on the other side? Yes! Oh, the ones on the other side. Excellent! Okay, we're going that way. And hoping it's a little bit cooler. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay, we're still way too high in here. But at least this is something different. That's, what is that? That's a cold crystal, but it's no better than the one I already have. Can I hold one in both hands? Can I dual wield these things, please? Because that's what I need to do. Body temperature elevated. Yeah, when is it not? We've gathered this by now. We've gathered this. I should have the cold device. I don't have the cold device. As a result, I'm probably going to die. There is really nothing I can do about this. Because I need to function. Heat stroke oh, good grief. Here we go. Got a heat stroke now. Got to go back and sit on the fridge again. This is getting really, really annoying, actually. Dehydration imminent. Of course it is. Oh my gosh. And you bleed when you have heat stroke as well as bleeding when you have hypothermia, apparently. But this is ludicrous. I really seriously need to be able to do something other than just fall down dead every five minutes here. Okay, this time we're going to do something a little bit more intelligent, perhaps. And we're actually going to put our teleporter here. And that means that when we're about to snuff it, we can just teleport back here. And I just want to check out the door on the other side of here because we didn't get a chance to look at that before. There wasn't everything very much in the one to the right, I don't think. Now, actually, I don't think we managed to set that going, did we? Did I move? I didn't do this, that's why. There we go. That must be the door on the other side, I'm not sure. But first of all, we're going to go in here. There's all these traps everywhere. Really, they're not necessary. And I can't read the boards, because much as I might like to, if I do that, I'm going to die. So, 
epic fail, really. This is probably just a great big museum of how to die of heat stroke. Um, but I'm already an expert in that, so I guess we'll just head over to the other side now, provided we don't have to immediately run back. We immediately teleport back um, with heat stroke again. all this lava around the place. It's no wonder we... No wonder we're suffering. Oh! More traps, of course. Okay. These probably don't have anything useful in them. And if they did, I probably can't open them. I can't probably carry it because I'm full up anyway. But just see... There's some plant material. No. Okay. We don't need the plant material. No, nothing in those. And probably there'll be nothing if there's any chests over here. They probably won't have anything either. In which case, why did I bother coming in here? Well, just in case. And stairs. Which are probably going to... Oh, now, what is this? Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Requires crystal. Heat stroke imminent. Nice! Yes! Yes! Am I glad I came in here? Or what? Wow! All this time, if only I'd have come here first. Blooming egg! What a fool! Okay, now we should be we should be okay. We should be cool. We can look at stuff now. Okay, I don't actually know what this is. The Odyssey. Well, it looks like they were leaving the planet. But is that the right way round? We're probably looking at this the wrong way round. Seven of sixteen. Whoa! What? Stop it, Wilson! Freaking me out doing a weird noise thing. I have no idea what that noise was even about. I think Wilson's bugging out on me today. For some reason, Wilson seems to be a little bit behind the times. The Odyssey 5 of 16. Okay, I can't actually make a lot of sense of these. Um, but... And there's this load more of them down here as well. And I suppose just from the point of view of that is the first one. Yes it is, there we go. What is that alien speak for? There's too many of us and the weather's turned crap. So we gotta leave. Um, I suppose from a point of view of just collecting information we should look at these. Even if we don't actually, I can't be bothered. Now I've got my cold crystal, I just want to get on. Spent so much time nearly dying of heat stroke. Now, please say anything that we need to know. Surely not. No, I'm sorry, I can't be bothered. We're getting out of here. And we need to go that way. Now, I've got this crystal. We should be able to look around with a slightly more leisure and find if there's anything is that a ladder? Good grief. What is it with me on ladders? I just don't see them. I literally didn't see it. But yeah, that's a ladder. That's probably what we needed all along. Now, it's a bit dark around here, but I didn't, I didn't pick up my, my torch, really, because, oh gosh, if there's any... I'm going to have to, because if there's any traps like that for example or yeah that's a trap I don't want to be standing on those do I so hot or not there's the alien look at that he's standing there going what kept you yes that's the alien Save yourself. Save myself how? Open to suggestions here. Really. Okay, he's disappeared pretty quickly again. Save myself. Well, do you know what? That's kind of what I'm trying to do. Again, it's really dark here. Yeah, he runs pretty quick, this guy. He really runs very fast indeed. 
I'm not going to bring out, I'm not going to light any more of those because I don't have a torch anymore. So I do hope I don't now need to uh, set fire to anything because I've dropped my burning torch. And I do hope I'm not going to be regretting that at a later point. Okay. Need my torch again. Cannot see. Ah, run! Now, what is this? Apologies for the dark. I cannot... I can't not hold my cold device at this point, really. Mysterious. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna use my torch because I just can't see what's going on at the moment, even though it's very hot. Codex, seven of seven. Okay, we're starting the wrong side there. Okay, I think we can safely use this. Codex, one of seven. Odyssey Codex, entry date 441, gravity sphere, code signal origin. Is this a gravity sphere? It's got something we need to push on top of it. I think we'll... Objective reminder. Locate materials for satellite uplink. Shut up, Wilson. Odyssey. Codex entry date 1599. System deco... decoa. Colony beta. Specimen discovery. Minimal corruption. Right. Odyssey... In codex entry date 2421 system twoon colony tenga minimal corruption okay so this is data on some of the experiments they've taken out undertaken odyssey codex entry date 3084 system sol colony terror moderate corruption corruption by what Five six hundred system Griac colony centaur anomaly significant corruption. Okay, what were they actually trying to do? System Gliace. Well, that's this one. 9930, System Gliace Colony Galea, significant corruption. Significant corruption of the aliens, one assumes, the indigenous, in, indigenous alien species. Oh my gosh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, it's a map. <gasps> yeah, she's a really fast. Star map? Yeah. There's the solar system. There's Gliace. Wait a second. What's this? We never sent probes to this planet. Oh my god. Wilson, record. I found an alien star map. A huge hologram. Earth is there, as is Gliese. But there's also a system we never considered. Judging by the detailed data on this star map, it has the perfect atmosphere for humans. There might even be simple life there. It's at galactic coordinates 3 KPC 25811.5. I'll find a way to get this back to you. Our lives, your lives, depend on it. Scan out. So finally, there is a point to my existence. I'm not just battling things. We might actually be able to save the human race. But I'm not going to hold my breath on that. Okay, guys, so I think this is probably as good a place to finish as any. Um, oh, wow. The temperature is actually moderate here as well, so we might even be able to put away our cold device and not die. There we go. Oh, no, I'm wrong. We can't. Fair enough. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so we finally got here. Some sort of uh, interstellar orrery and very uh, spectacular it is too. We've got a new forward vector, which is back the way we've come, and we've got a cold crystal and a cold device and a hot device, and I am dropping neither of them. That shield is completely pointless, I'm sure, so next time I have to drop something, it's gonna be that. Um, there's been so many things I've carried around for the course of the game and just really 
not need it at all. And I guess if we need a torch, a flaming torch, we can we can find another one of those um, easily enough or put one together. So this has been kind of a frustrating episode, but we got there in the end. I'm going to see if I can get some sleep here. Um, but first, I'm going to have a drink. Uh, and uh, I do hope that you guys enjoyed the episode and that you will join me for the next one and that we'll do rather better than we did this time. Uh, but until then, guys, keep gaming, keep surviving, stay happy. Bye-bye for now.